welcome back everyone so in this video i am going to share all those methods that actually optimizes windows 10 and 11 and make your computer much faster now you might have a question in your mind that will this really work for you so trust me guys i tested all these methods and i applied them on my multiple windows 10 and 11 machine and it really made a difference and the best part is that we will not be using any kind of third party tool or any kind of software but before starting guys i have a question for you that have you ever thought that what exactly make your computer slow as i warned that while applying all these optimization steps you must know that what exactly you are doing so mainly many kind of viruses infection many kind of unwanted junk application services features running in the background can slow down the performance i'm not talking about any kind of hardware i'm only talking about the software issue that can create a problem a part of this if you have any windows that has not been updated from a long time and even sometime after updating many kind of latest update you may have these kind of problem so i will be covering the entire solution so make sure that you do not skip any part apply all the steps all the solution one by one do not skip any part so that by the end of this video you can find the huge difference so without any delay let's quickly get started So again before starting guys we will be creating a restore point because always i want to go with the safe side so click on your windows search type restore from the suggestion you will have to click on create a restore point and here at the bottom you will find the create option you will have to click on it then you have to give any kind of restore point name like windows optimization you can also give any kind of date or month name so that you can easily identify and once you are done you will have to click on create in case if you don't find the create option highlighted you can click on configure and turn on the system production all right so and it will be quickly created then you will have to click on close click on ok and now the very first thing that we will be doing we will be checking for any kind of available update so click on your window search type update click on check for updates and here if you have any kind of update available then you have to go ahead download install and update all kind of updates okay on my end you can see i have few kind of security and other kind of update so it's required that i should go and install them and restart the computer so that all the update can be successfully updated now many of you might also have a problem after updating the windows so if you have the issues slow performance after you have updated the windows then what you can do click on update history and here at the bottom you will find uninstall update option click on it and here you have to uninstall the latest update as you might be having a problem because of these latest update okay so go ahead and uninstall them if you have the problem after updating windows but if not then go ahead and update your operating system so this is the first and the important thing that you have to do once you are done from the left hand menu option only you will have to click on privacy and security and here we have to disable many kind of windows and application permission and even we have to disable any kind of data that are being sent to microsoft okay so first you have to click on general disable all these options then you have to go back do the same with the speech inking and typing personalization diagnostic and feedback you have to disable it activity history you can disable it then you have to come down to the app permission and here location camera mic depend if you are not using them then simply click on it and disable them a part of that you will find many other kind of applications like contacts calendar phone call that majority of the people are not using on their device but they are still running and occupying a lot of resources so click on them one by one and just go ahead and disable them and once you are done from the left hand menu option only you will have to click on personalization and here you will find the color option you will have to click on it and here you get the transparency effect so windows and surface appear translucent and this basically create a transparency effect between the window and between the desktop now if you're really not concerned about the transparency effect or any kind of animation then you have to disable this option and now you can close it 
now next we have to disable many kind of services that run on your windows 10 and 11 that are not used by majority of the user but still they run in the background and slow down the performance so click on your windows search type services the services box will be up now here i'm recommending you a few of the services that you have to disable like first one will be assigned access manager service double click on it startup type choose it to disable stop the service click on apply click on ok next is the bit locker service as many of the people they are not using the bit locker and if you are also not using double click on it disable it from the startup type click on stop click on apply click on ok similarly if you are not using the bluetooth services then you can go ahead and disable all these bluetooth services now next you have the connected user experience and telemetry double click on it again choose the startup type to disable stop the service click on apply click on ok and then you have to look for diagnostic execution service once you get it again double click on it choose it to disable then you have to click on apply click on ok do the same with diagnostic policy service double click on it choose it to disable click on apply click on ok and then you have to look for the geolocation or download maps manager to so look for geolocation service double click on it and choose it to disable click on stop click on apply click on ok and also look for download map manager or downloaded maps manager once you get it double click on it choose it to disable click on stop apply and ok then you have to look for the sensor service disable it next you have to look for the parental controls again just go ahead and disable them apply and ok now if you need the detailed information that why exactly we are disabling these services then you can check my another video i have already created them i cannot brief you about each and every service because it will take a long time all right so now next you have to look for the phone service if you are not using it disable them click on apply click on ok then you also need to look for print spooler if you're not using any kind of printer service but if you're using the printer then you can skip this similarly look for fax if you find any service related to fax disable them then you have to look for remote desktop remote desktop services double click on it choose it to disable click on apply click on ok again this is for the people who are not using any kind of remote desktop service then look for a smart card double click on it choose it to disable click on apply click on ok also look for windows biometric service disable them click on apply click on ok then you have to look for windows error reporting service double click on it choose it to disable click on apply click on ok then you have to look for windows insider service and if you're not going to join any kind of windows insider program then there is no need to keep the service enable double click on it choose it to disable stop the service apply ok then you also need to look for wallet service if you're not using any kind of wallet service any kind of application then you can just disable them now part of these windows services if you get any third party application service like of mccafe then you also need to go ahead and disable them once you are done close it next click on your windows search type sysdm.cpl again hit the enter key and here in the system properties you have to click on advanced under the performance you have to click on settings now this might be selected to let windows choose what best for my computer which by default enable all kind of animation on your windows 11 machine now we don't need all kind of animation we only need the important one so that we can get the best performance so here select the third option that says adjust for best performance and then you will have to enable show thumbnail instead of icons and a smooth edges of a screen font that's it click on apply click on ok and again click on ok and now next we also need to debload all kind of application that come from the manufacturer and even from the windows and we will be also uninstalling the application that we don't need on our computer now i'm on windows 11 and if you click on it so you will find a lot of bloatware that exactly I think majority of the people they are not using it okay so what you have to do here you need to click on all apps this will list you all kind of application installed on your computer like clip champ video editor and if you're not doing any kind of video editing there is no need to keep this application on your computer so just make a right click on it 
and click on uninstall click uninstall again if you're not using the cortana right click and install it feedback hub uninstall it then you have the maps if you don't use the maps you can go ahead and uninstall it then you have microsoft news i don't think you need it right click uninstall it microsoft to do just go ahead and uninstall it then you can come down onedrive if you don't use the onedrive go ahead and uninstall it like me i don't use the onedrive so i will uninstall it quick assist if you don't use it then you can go ahead and uninstall it then solitaire collection uninstall it a snipping tool i need it tips uh, terminal voice recorder weather i don't need the weather windows security windows tool xbox i don't need the xbox i will go ahead and uninstall it xbox game bar uh, uh, that's okay so these are the application that will be coming as a bloatware on your windows 10 or 11 so you will have to go ahead and uninstall them and then you have to click on your windows search again type appwiz dot cpl hit the enter key and this will list you all kind of application program installed on your computer and if you are not using them or if you find any program malicious or something that you don't identify then you have to make a right click on it and choose uninstall all right so complete this task as well once you're done you can go ahead and close it and now we also need to clear all kind of junk and many kind of temporary files so that we can get enough storage on our device and we can also clean all kind of junk so first you have to right click on windows icon again click on settings from the left hand menu option click on system then click on storage and here it will be calculating the space occupied by all kind of categories so first you will have to click on temporary file and here it will list you that what kind of space has been occupied this will include your download section this will also include the recycle bin so whichever you don't need just check them and then click on remove file and doing so will be creating a huge space in your drive especially if you're using any kind of ssd once you are done you can go back and here you may find many other categories like document others so you will have to click them one by one whichever is occupying a lot of storage that you really don't need go ahead and delete them once you are done now you also need to clear that temporary file manually for that right click on windows icon click on run type here percent temp percent click on ok select all these file by pressing ctrl a then press shift and delete key to permanently delete all these files because these are just the temporary file that you don't need once you are done you can just close it again right click on windows icon click on run type here just temp again click on ok click on continue select all these files using the ctrl a key then press shift and delete and permanently delete all these items next right click on windows icon click on task manager then from the left hand menu option you have to click on startup apps on windows 10 you will find on the top now here you have to look for all kind of third party application and you have to disable their startup now basically what happened if these applications are being set as enable so the next time when you start the computer it will be booting up along with the windows that will be slowing down your booting time and even they will be running in the background and will occupy a lot of resources that turn into slow performance so look for any application like onedrive microsoft edge skype discord steam that you can manually start whenever you need just go ahead right click on it and choose disable okay so now we are done with the windows optimization now additionally i would also recommend you that if you're using any kind of browser then go ahead and just optimize it for example if you're using chrome or microsoft edge it's very simple click on the three dot then you have to go to settings click on privacy and security or privacy search and services you will find the clear browsing data option click choose what to clear choose all time here you can leave password and autofill form data uncheck the rest you can check all these items then click on clear now okay similarly you have to do the same on your firefox or google chrome browser and now we are only remaining with the final step where we will be looking for any kind of viruses malware that can also slow down the performance and for this we will be using a third party tool that is the hitman pro now this is totally optional 
if you want to go with this you can go with it or you can also use the windows security option for that you have to right click on the windows icon click on run type mrt click on ok and you will be getting the microsoft windows malicious software removal tool you can also run this tool if you want to you can go with a quick scan click on next now as i said that this hitman pro is a very popular and a very best tool so if you want to go with this one because i personally love this so look for hitman pro in the browser click on hitman pro advanced malware removal tool click on free 30 day trial click download 64 bit if you are using 32 you can go with 32 the file will be quickly downloaded so click on the downloaded file click on yes and here you have to click on next next choose no i only want to perform a one-time scan click on next and the scanning will be started now this will be detecting all kind of thread all kind of infections any kind of malware or trojan and it will automatically delete it all right so wait until these commands are completed now once all this is scan everything is being completed finally we have to go ahead and restart the computer okay so the scan has been completed so now i'll go ahead and restart my computer all right so the computer has been restarted now and this time when you will check the performance so you will find that the computer is working much faster without any kind of lag and even if i show you the performance by going in the task manager so you will see the process count has been reduced the handle that was around 60,000 that has been reduced to around 42,000 and this is exactly what I was talking about when there will be the low process count the low handle count there will be low pressure on the CPU and so you will be getting the best performance the memory usage you can see that was around 70% it has been reduced to now 42-42% so that's all guys for today hopefully after applying all these solution I'm very sure that your performance will be surely boosted and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye